Welcome to WebStar Plus. Write a function that checks if a given string is a valid IP address in JavaScript. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing similar content on this topic. We can check if a given string is a valid IP address in JavaScript by using a regular expression pattern to match the format of an IP address. For example, Define a function that takes an argument. Define a variable and use this regular expression pattern. Use the test method of regular expression to match the input string against the pattern of a valid IP address. If the string matches the pattern, the function will return true, indicating that the string is a valid IP address. If the given string does not match the pattern, the function will return false, indicating that the string is not a valid IP address. Call the function with an IP address to check the result, and in this case it is true. This pattern matches the format of an IP address, which is a string that consists of four integers separated by periods. Each integer must be between 0 and 255, inclusive. This character matches the start of the string. This part matches the first integer of the IP address. The integer can be either this one, this one, or this one. This part matches an integer between 250 and 255 inclusive. This part matches an integer between 200 and 249 inclusive. And this part matches an integer between 0 and 199 inclusive. The question sign after this and this makes them optional so that 0 and 1 digit integers are also matched. This part matches a period. This is repeated 3 more times to match the remaining integers and periods of the IP address. And this sign matches the end of the string. The regular expression pattern ensures that the input string is of correct format for an IP address and that each of the four integers is within the allowed range of 0 to 255 inclusive. So this is one way of checking for a valid IP address. We have another simpler way of checking it. We can split the given string into its four components, the integers separated by periods, and validate each component individually. For example, define a function which takes in a string as an argument. Split this input string into an array of components using the split method with a dot or period as a separator. If the length of the resulting array is not equal to 4, return false, indicating that the string is not a valid IP address. Because a valid IP address has got 4 components separated by period. Then use a for loop to iterate over each component of the array. For each component, convert the component to a number using the number function and store the result in the variable num. Use few checks to validate the component. This check validates if the given string is a number. This part checks if the component is not within the range of 0 to 255. And this part checks if the component is not equal to the string representation of provided number, indicating that the component contains extra characters that are not valid in an IP address. If any of these checks return true, return false, indicating that it's not a valid IP address that is provided via string.
otherwise return true, indicating that IP is valid. Call the function with IP address as argument and the result is returned, which should be true in this case or if the IP address is valid. So this is how we can check if an IP address is a valid IP address or not in JavaScript. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.